that time again, time to get the lead out with the one, the only, WLSD, your favorite radio station for every day is still a Friday. Hello folks, Candori here, and in case you didn't know, that was me that you actually heard years ago. Uh, a friend and I used to have an internet radio station called WLSD, and I made all of the uh, commercial and uh, breaks and things of that nature back then. But uh, I just wanted to give you an idea of what this little Bluetooth speaker that I built sounded like. And uh, I built this a few years ago, uh, shortly after I bought my 3D printer. I had always wanted to build a Bluetooth speaker and just finally came up with this design here. But it had a few little issues. So, uh, given the time that we all have indoors now, uh, due to this crisis that's going on, and uh, seeing how so many of us have so much extra time on our hands, I decided to uh, do a little upgrading on this. And uh, along the way, while looking for some parts, I came across something that I thought might even interest my viewers. So uh, let me get into this and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and hopefully you'll find it rather interesting as well, too. So let's get on with it, shall we? And just like that, we are back. Now, as I said, I wanted to upgrade this board. Originally, I had a smaller powered board in here, and I wasn't really sure whether or not that was going to be sufficient. At the time, I was working uh, at a place that was quite noisy. It, I had eight industrial embroidery machines running constantly, and I needed something with a little bit more kick to it when I tried listening to it at work. So I went and I was looking for an upgrade board. And when I found this board right here, which is a 30 watt board, I came across something that was, well, I thought was actually pretty neat. When I first started this project, I ended up having to source and find everything individually. I had to find the, the Bluetooth board. I had to find the battery board. I had to buy the batteries. I had to buy a charger. I had to buy a DC panel jack. I had to buy a power switch, LEDs, volume switch. I had to buy the auxiliary board. I had to buy the two speakers. Now, to my credit, when I first built this, I already had an idea that I was going to upgrade this later. So I ended up buying the two larger speakers so that when I did upgrade, I would already have those. But now, for, the, for less money than I paid for everything that you see here, because I think I paid around... $85, I believe that it was, by the time that I purchased every single one of these pieces in shipping and handling, it was, I believe it was around $85. Now, for $65, you get everything you need. Now, if you've ever done a project, you know that the most time-consuming and tedious part of any project is sitting down, looking online, trying to find the pieces that you need piece by piece, sourcing them, and then having them shipped. And if you don't find the parts that you need all from the same supplier, then you're often waiting for each of the pieces to come in individually before you can even start your project. But now, for $65, you have an entire kit. And I mean an entire kit. What do you get with the kit? Well, like I said, it comes with a 15 watt board. It comes with the battery box. It comes with the three batteries. It comes 
with a set of speakers. It comes with a volume control, a DC panel jack, you get all the wires that you need, an aluminum mounting plate so you can mount all of your electronics right to this plate, and it comes with various screws and hardware for attaching all of the electronics to this plate right here. So now you don't have to go out and search for all of these pieces and parts individually. You can buy it all together. And the best part about it is that if you, like me, wanted to upgrade later, all you would have to do is just buy this board right here and bada bing, you've got a stronger, more powerful Bluetooth stereo system. I think that's fantastic. Now, I'm only running this off of 12 volts. Technically, the specification sheet says that you probably should have 24 volts. But I'm not running this at full volume. And in case you haven't noticed from the opening intro, this volume knob right here was almost all the way turned down. And it was still adequately loud enough to be heard very well. There's quite a bit of play in this volume switch I could have gone. In fact, if I were to turn that up all the way, I probably would have made my ears bleed and I'm already half deaf as it is. So there's really no need to really buy anything bigger than this unless you really need something with a lot of kick. They do make a 50 watt board. The 50 watt board, however, really does need 24 volts. But while we're on the subject of voltage, I found something else as well. Because, well, what if you don't want a Bluetooth speaker? What if you just needed a portable battery pack for, say, another project that you had? Well, have I got the answer for you. Because they also make this board right here. Now, this board and this board look identical. But I assure you, they are not the same board. And the other nice thing about these boards, both of these boards, in fact, all of their boards, they all come with a battery management system built in. In other words, this takes care of all the charging, discharging, and battery protection circuitry for you. You don't have to go and build your own battery management system like I have done in the past. And in fact, I just used my last one not long ago for another project where I actually built my own six cell 18650 battery pack. But this is all contained in for you. But this one right here, now for just for sake of demonstration, we're going to assume that this is going to be the only battery board connected to this Bluetooth. Because in fact, yes, you can actually daisy chain these together believe it or not. This, on the back, unlike this one, has a battery voltage meter on the... When you press this button, it will light up one of four LEDs letting you know how much battery capacity is left. And if you're worried about the fact that it's actually on the bottom of the board and you have to press a, a button on the bottom of the board in order to see it, well, I have no fear because with this cable right here installed, it comes with a button. And when you push it, there you go. It'll light up one, two, three, or all four LEDs depending on how much battery power is left in this battery pack. And the nice thing about this board right here is this board can be used for anything. Anything that requires 12 volts. Because normally what would happen is, is you would take your DC panel jack and you would wire it directly into your Bluetooth board right here. And then your Bluetooth board would connect to your battery pack by plugging in the cable right here. So that when you power the Bluetooth board, it's also charging your batteries at the exact same time. 
But if you want to use it as a project battery board without the Bluetooth, this one can be charged right here. And it also comes with these little, uh, they're actually clips. You can actually take the wires and just slide them in, and then you can push these buttons in the back and slide the wires back out. They're little quick disconnects for your wires that you can use. And there's two of them. So you could actually have two 12 volt power sources going to two different things at the same time. But getting back to this board, if you so desired to go with this board or something bigger and decided, well, I want, I need the 24 volts. I like it loud or I want the power. The power. They do make another battery board that has five cells for 24 volts. So now you can get a battery board that looks almost identical to this with the same features and the LED lights and the ability to plug in different uh, you know, connectors for up to 24 volts. And they also make another five cell version of this one that takes, the, I believe they're 28650 batteries, which are higher capacity. They're actually a little bit thicker and chunkier than these 18650s and they have a higher capacity and will last longer. So you have your choice of one of four boards. You have two boards right here that are 18650s at 12 volts and then they sell two other boards that are 24 volts with either 18650s or the larger capacity batteries. Now you could use it in anything that you want. It doesn't have to be a Bluetooth connector or a Bluetooth board. So now that I've shown you the boards and what I've been doing during this isolation time to keep myself from being so bored that my brains ooze out between my ears, maybe I've shown you something of interest. Maybe I've given you a couple of ideas or something that you can do yourself. Maybe I've given you the hope that you can uh, tackle a project like this yourself too. In any event, if you like anything that I've seen and shown you here today, be sure to check out the links down below because I will leave links of where you can buy these and other parts to perform a project like this or maybe a different project as well. And as always, I'd like to thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you like my videos and please press that icon bell down below so you'll always be notified of when I release another video. And until next time, be safe, and I hope to see you all again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.